All right, we're assembling some Fortress Evolution steel framing stairs today. So we're using the joist and adjustable stair bracket option. So we're using the Fortress calculator. I'll show you a couple of screenshots of what I'm doing right now. I'm taking my rise, which I pulled off the top of the decking to grade, which is a cement patio here. And we're getting our calculations. It's gonna give us our pinholes that we're gonna use in the stair bracket. It's gonna give us our rise and our run. And I can use those dimensions to cut my plumb cut on my three joists that I'm going to be using for stringers. We leave the bottom long, so I'm just leaving myself some room there. And I'm going to make three plumb cuts for three pieces of joists that are going to be plenty long to complete the stringer. And the bottom will get cut off later. So if you just stick with us here, you'll see that part of it. So we're going to pull up the Fortress Calculator. Uh, their stair calc. We're going to select drop to grade. We're going to put in our total rise. We get our tread depth and thickness. It's going to give us some options um, for variations. I'm always going to select the closest to a 10 inch run and then it's going to give us our plumb cut, level cut, length, and our pinhole locations. Our 2L and 4R. Uh, okay. So it's triangle lower so circle, and you know? And what side do you prefer them to go on? Um, it all depends on which way it's laying on the, it doesn't really matter. Like if you're gonna stand on this side, you know what I mean? Then, So for this, um, that's gonna be our top. So if we were to have it laying the way it is, it's gonna go like that. So you could do triangle lower circle from the top and favor and grab that cut off just grab this one We haven't cut them to length yet because we're going to cut the bottom off after we assemble it. So we'll blow those out, file the ends, get some paint on them. It's really important with steel framing that has a powder coat finish on it is a galvanized product, but we have to file our to get rid of the touch up paints. Usually we do one while we're cutting and assembling everything and then once everything's together we go over with another coat on all of the ends. Okay. So this is going to be the top of our plum cut. What I like to do is set one bracket get the correct distance from here and mark it. And then I mark my hypotenuse out on all the stringers. So our spacing from here to here is nine and 15. So I'm gonna take my tape. I'm gonna draw this back until I have nine and 15. I'm gonna mark that. So nine inches and 15 sixteenth rise, six inches and an eighth run. My diagonal is 11 and 11 sixteenths. So take this off. One sixteenths, and I just go on my calc plus equals, which is 23 and 3 eighths. Equals 35, 46 and 11 sixteenths. So I'm just using my calculator to do the math for me. So 
So that'll be one, two, three, four, five. My hypotenuse line, and that's the diagonal length of the right triangle that is our stair, rise, and run. Same way that we use Pythagorean theorem to square a foundation or walls or to uh, find the diagonal dimension of a rafter. Uh, we're just using here to get an accurate layout for our stair brackets. So now all we're gonna do is line up this part of the bracket with this line and screw them off. We just had these alignment pins in the, in the pins querying to what the stair calculator told us to use 2L and 4R. Just gonna put all those in place, line up our tab, line, and screw them. So this is the one you gotta leave out. We usually put like this screw there. So usually that'll work. We'll take this pin out. Then we have our rise, which is six and an eighth. So what we'll do is we'll take an inch off for decking on the bottom. We'll mark five and an eighth, right? We take an inch off the bottom dimension. So when you put your decking on top, you have the same size stair run. That's why we measure to the decking on the surface because that adds the inch and then we take it off the bottom and it moves everything down so it's all consistent rises. We just mark that like that. So six and an eighth, five and an eighth. This decking's only seven eighths technically, so we take a little bit less off. It was 31.64, so the level cut would be 90 minus 31.64 which is 58.36. 58. 58. Right, I got you. Yeah, complementary angles. So the plum cut and the seat or the level cut make 90 degrees, you see them? Mm -hmm. It's like a square triangle, right? So no matter what angle the stairs are on, the plum cut and the seat cut will equal 90. So if the plum cut's 30, the level cut's 60. You know? I got you. Vice versa, same on a roof rafter, same on anything. All right, kind of, I'm just kind of me a little bit. Right there's good. like that one foul swoop we're ready to party see that and now what you'll do is just make a couple of your own holes you know or just put one in there and put one right there mm -hmm. get a few screws in that bottom all right driller modes canceled Pretty sweet, right there, Matt? Always. Come on, dude. Look how slick this is. Matt's spoiled, dude. You know? He showed up for his first day auto shop when we were building the Bentley. 
and we're off to the races. We'll put together the other two and we'll throw them up in place. drop stringer and now we're fixing the fortress stair strap which acts as a hanger and then that strap folds underneath the stringer joist and you can put screws in the bottom of it as well super solid nice install system here to make sure everything is on time, nice and level. I guess I'm part of the group message now. <laughs> oh, dude. No. All right, time to lay our stair trays. We're using these adjustable stair trays. They move in and out. They have quite a bit of adjustment. I don't know exactly how much, but we have, we have a 10 inch run here, so we just have to bump them out a little bit. And these have 12 inch in the center fastening for your treads and also blocking for your returns and your railing posts. Bonesaw's got the autographs down. Bonesaw's got the autographs. I can do the autographs. But so the red carpet though, you're not into the red I'm carpet? Not, I just want to be treated as a regular guy. I know I'm one of the best builders in the, the Northeast. <laughs> but like, I'm just, okay, then? Yeah. Alright, uh, let's just throw the trays on it. You can use the metal framing screws to attach the trays down to the stringer and then bore out the back of your tread boards to sit over those screws. But we like to just screw the treads through the tray into the stringer to lock everything together. All right, we're ready for treads on this thing. Uh, I'll upload another video next week. If you guys could please just subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. Um, any questions you have, throw them in the comments. And I'll see you guys next week. We'll get some treads down on this thing. See you soon.